Hey guys, welcome back to this fifth installment of this video series on constructing the source court. In this episode, we finally get our hands on the flex court tiles and we'll be attaching them together with the help of my children. Here's the backyard when we moved in, lots of trees in the background, and here's what it looks like after installing the tiles. Quite the different six month mix, right? The tiles arrived in three heavy pallets via Old Dominion delivery. This gentleman was super helpful and even asked me where I preferred to have the pallets placed. Now more than just curbside option, get out of here. Take note EPS. Look at looking at the enormity of the boxes, I wasn't sure how long it would take to piece all the tiles together, so I simply had it moved inside the, the garage. In hindsight, I should have had it loaded on the side streets where there is a larger double gate access entry from the backyard which would have made moving the tiles and installation so much faster. Also included were two large ball rebounders 10 feet by 20 feet for each end of the sports court. In the pallet there are 128 large tiles or 2048 individual 10 inch tiles for a total of 7 boxes in all. I waited for my boys to get out of school to start piecing the tiles together approximately at 3 p.m. and knew it would get dark fast. However, the kids always wanted to help as much as they can so I waited for them to get started. The tiles themselves are fairly lightweight, easy to maneuver, even my six-year-old was able to move the tiles around by himself. My son is using the blower to remove dirt, rocks, and leaves off the concrete so that anything big does not get trapped underneath the tiles. I would recommend to do before doing that. Here the boys are double checking the diagram and making sure what they are putting together is the same as the picture. Pretty straightforward. The kids were aligning the tiles but not snapping them together until we have all the pieces laid out. I'm loading the dolly with four to five tiles at a time from the garage while the kids align the tiles. Once it's snapped it's harder to move the tiles where you want it to, to be positioned. And I got a rap rock chalk, Jayhawk KU. The color hues on the tiles were straight on point. You have crimson and blue. Also, there's the 16-year year warranty on their products. Once again, the 15 year, the 15 dollar furniture dolly is put to good use by the kids. And instead of Naismith Court, like the university, I was able to add additional lettering as a tribute to the patriarch who passed away in 2006. By this time, two hours later, it had gotten dark. However, thanks to Mega Slam's game light, look at us, we're still able to continue working into the night. The next morning, the kids were in school. Here's a close-up of the male sections see they just stick out and the female sections of the towel they easily snap onto each other with just a tap of the hands the towels aren't dirty my hands were just cold that day and I could not find my gloves so once you have the towels aligned from the male and female parts. Basically with just one hand, you can just tap it down. Needless to say, with over 128 large tile to piece together, this is gonna take some time. There are more than 2,000 individual tiles and luckily only one single male end broke off, which is incredible. FlexCore provides plenty of replacement tiles. See, when the tiles are connected, moving them around is gonna be tough. The weather was a tad crummy compared to the day before. I just took the liberty to get the tiles pieces together. The, the tiles pieced together like a boss. It took about two to three hours to square the tiles to the edge and to attach them together. On one side, once attached, you can see how awesome the tiles fit together. And once they and once they're together, they don't move. The concrete has a line scored into it and provides me with a point of reference for a straight line. I just need to finish up that border there. 
And as you can see on the right side, everything is pretty straight along the edge there. Now, I just have to finish the other half. Once all the tiles are attached, the last thing to do is to put the blue ramp borders. They add a little nice touch. It is amazing. The bounce is similar to the concrete, but it, but it is advertised to be more friendly on the joints compared to concrete surfaces. This is especially important as I advance in age. The joints may not keep up with me. Now since the last video, my wife along with our four young children finally finished our own landscape and planted about 50 various trees and, and over 50 shrubs throughout the property in response to the demolition of the hundreds of trees we formerly had in our backyard, which uh, by the way they're making way for a brand new subdivision. The kids are outdoor a lot as you can see. They have a variety of outdoor activity to choose from. Everyone loves to run on the surface of the flex court. They are currently into basketball, but have found interest in playing soccer, kick bowling, paddle tennis, running their toy cars on, on the surface. Here's the Mega Slam's hoop. As I mentioned in the previous videos, even a four-year-old can crank out her that's desired enough. goal height. You're at five feet. Yeah. Here are the boys testing go, the bounce. Go. I believe the goal height is at five feet, just perfect for my four-year-old with her junior size basketball. And here's the finished product. Like I said, 28 feet by 54 feet. My concrete guys accidentally gave me one extra feet so six inches on both sides. However, I will likely have this filled with extra gray tiles uh, in the future. Also of note, the tile is also tracking less dirt because everything settles to the bottom of the tile. Now when it rains, it washes out the dirt that's trapped below uh, periodically, which is nice. Colors are pretty sharp, really vibrant. Crimson and blue is what the color scheme I was trying to go for. Here's our storage bench. Found it on sale at Target. Waterproof, 70 uh, gallon. Handy for outdoor storage. The tape on the towels there were eight rows that were clearly identified, 16 large tiles, 16 large tiles long for a total of 128 large pieces from the pallet we had. Once again, this was our backyard when we moved in and my vision of the sports court. The day the concrete was poured and the awesome finished sports court thanks to Flex Court. Feel free to leave a comment or question. Stay tuned for the accessory videos reviewing the ball rebounder install and pick one. Net Deluxe. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for future videos. Thanks, Cali Mood.